So I think we are uh, going to discuss about this uh, complex disease entity which is known as metabolic liver disease. So metabolic liver disease is uh, the, the secondary to a defect in metabolism of whatever the biochemical processes or whatever the chemical reaction is happening inside the liver. So basically these reactions involve either the metabolism of carbohydrates, amino acids or fat actually. Broadly in uh, children, I think if you see the common metabolic liver disease, the commonest thing that we see is a disorder of amino acid metabolism which is known as actually tyrosinemia type 1. So this disease presents with an early liver tumor formation. There can be cirrhosis in the liver leading to uh, even an advanced liver disease and failure of the liver. There are few other disorders which are known as organic acid acidemias, maple syrup, urine disease, etc. where your central nervous system can be affected and these babies rather than having liver problems, they usually come to us with a brain related issue like seizures, delay in development, not able to feed, not growing well, etc. Since these metabolic processes happen in the liver, I think we can reduce or restrict some food step. For example, if they have tyrosinemia, where we restrict some kind of amino acids to basically decrease the intensity or the severity of the disease. But the final cure for all these disorders are actually a liver transplant because after uh, liver transplant, this disease completely goes off from the body, especially those single gene disorders like tyrosinemia, and they needn't be on a restricted diet and the child can live a normal life. Thank you.